Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see how we can exclude a selected feature in a slicer in from the visual. So what I mean to say here. So let's select, this is a demo file. So let's select slicer generally have a feature uh, role that if we select any furniture value in the, uh, uh, in the visual, then it should filter out the furniture. But instead of that, we will do the opposite. So if I select furniture, my data will be fit, uh, filtered out for furniture and the rest of my category will be visualized. So let's select, say, if I select office supplies, so my uh, office supplies will be filtered out and the rest furniture and technology will be different. So this is helpful when we are having a very, uh, we want to see specific impact of any particular category. This helps a lot actually. So let's get started how it can be done. So for that, first we need to create a demo or what I'm saying, a temporary table actually. So temporary table for a category. So if I just go to here oh, and create a new table, which I can create easily by just cl clicking on the new table. Let's create category table. And it can be done by distinct value, taking distinct value of sales category. Here, your table has been created. Once your table has been created, we need a field to see the category is created. So let's go to category, insert a slicer, and this thing. Now, let's create a table out of this. If I go here, I select, uh, let's select category, subcategory, and Sales value. Sales value, if you see. So let's select, if I select on furniture, nothing will happen since these two tables are not connected to each other. So we can connect it by using measure, by creating a measure. So let's here on category, let's create a new measure, which will my exclude category. So let's say if max of sales category in all selected category if, if it is something we have selected something in sales category and it is in the filter then one else return zero so what it will do if anything selected in this particular scenario it will go select this thing and if it is returns one well, let's say if you have selected furniture, then the furniture will be there and it will return one. So this is done. Now we need to use this thing particular exclude category measure in our filters. So let's go include that in filter. Let's take it to is equals to zero. So we want to exclude anything. So if I select category, it will in category, if you select furniture, it will return one. So I want to exclude that thing. So we need to use zero. Let's here it has been already applied. If you see, if I select furniture, technology office supplies in it. If I select uh, office supplies, then furniture and technology. If I select two things, then it will filter uh, the, uh, the rest of the categories. So I guess, hope this will help you to exclude uh, from your visuals when you select anything on your slicer. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe the channel for more PowerPoint updates. Thank you so much.